morning. What's up? Not much. Nice, nice robe. I cut my lashes really small. You see? Now I like them better. Picking this glue off. Nice nails. Thank you so much. Telling you got our nails did. Okay, we're about to go have a meeting for Boyd right now though, and discuss a couple things that we need to take care of here. Trying to sort out launch date. We're trying to sort out a couple of final product adjustments. Trying to make it all just finally come together here so we can get it out to you guys and the public. So we're gonna have a meeting this morning on that. Clean up the house a little bit. Can we get some makeup teats? Or you just describe it from here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and describe, <laughs> what'd you call it? Stupendous point of view. Stupendous, what does that mean? Are you not familiar with that word? Is it stupid? Oh my God, you don't know what stupendous means? To me it sounds like it's stupid. You've literally never heard that word. I've heard it. You don't know what it means. Does it mean great? Yeah. Okay, good, good. All right, so we're using going in right now with some ColourPop lip liner. She's got the Movi. <laughs> Eyelid going, a mauve eyelid. Should I say mauve? Mauve. Mauve. The mauve eyelid's going on. Mauve eyelid. With a little lip liner right now. She got the winged eyeliner right now. She's got the falsies on. Oh, I know. No, wow. Those are some gorgeous eyelashes. I'm Falsies are about to come on. They're um, curing. Can we get deets on your uh, foundation? It looks so good. Smashbox. Tinted moisturizer. Mm, no, it's Smashbox. The spokesperson for that product at this point because I love it so freaking much. Yep. She even tries to put it on me. Oh She's going in with the it. Revlon Matte oh, HD yeah. combo right now. I'm definitely going in. <laughs> go in with this false lash. <laughs> <laughs> go in. Go in. Go in. You can't make me laugh when I'm doing this or I'll More. stab my eye. Going in for the lid. Going in. <laughs> she went in. All right, we're late. Just getting some things done on our to-do list for the day. Obsessed with productivity, so just pretty much attached to my to-do list all day and just like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? That is why I just saw my book over there. That is why even before I go to bed or like when I'm relaxing, I read because it feels productive to me. But anyways, we are headed on a trip, a true like fall trip next week and we're so excited i'm also just like massively excited to be in some actual season appropriate weather it's gonna be like 90 degrees here today and it's middle of october so i'm just like no that's not really it for me i'm a big fall gal so <laughs> i feel like i'm being such a dork I am going to start picking clothes out to pack for our trip. It's going to be freaking cold. So I'm starting to think of things that I can put together that are actually fall and I won't be sweating my butt off in. And I got some really cute things from Goodnight Macaroon. This is my first time shopping with them and I'm actually so impressed with everything. Everything is really cute. And I'm going to do a little haul so you guys can see the pieces. I also have a discount code for you guys so I'll put that on the screen. And I wanted to mention that while I was shopping their website, I realized that Goodnight Macaroon has amazing dupes for some like handbags specifically. I was like actually blown away by it. So I was so excited to share these with you guys because I'm like, these are the best dupes I've ever seen and we love a good dupe. So I'll put some pictures of some of the bags I'm talking about here so you guys can see my discount code, you can shop and let's do the little haul so you can see where my head is at going to my fall destination and fall clothes. Turn it down. Autumn jazz is a little loud. You guys don't already know, I play autumn jazz on Pandora all day, every day, pretty much from late August until early August. No, I'm just kidding, but honestly, like, 
kind of a vibe all year. All right, so the first piece I'm going to show you guys is this flannel dress over shirt. I got this in a size medium. It's really nice quality. It's super soft. It's not like too thick or heavy. I actually don't like things when I don't like when things are super like thick and heavy. So I would say that this is maybe like a jacket, like a shirt jacket, kind of like a dress. So what it looks like, I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror too, so you can get a better idea of what it looks like full on. But this is kind of the texture and the detail. Let's take Camel off the tripod. Okay. I feel this is a little dark. All right, so this is what it looks like. It actually looks super cute over, I'm just wearing like a graphic tee right now. It looks really cute over something like this, but it's also really cute on its own. I'm actually gonna take this off so I can show you guys what it's like on its own. And I think it would be really nice with a cream turtleneck under as well. And then I'm gonna put on some over the knee boots that I got from them because it's a perfect little fall outfit. So this is what it looks like with the over the knee boots and I just took the undershirt off so it's kind of more of like a full dress vibe here which is super cute I feel so quintessential fall in this outfit obviously the back is nice and long oh my shoe is not fully <laughs> zipped up but yeah so the back is nice and long these boots are so luxe they are over the knee kind of like a tight fitting but they're very comfortable i think they're like a faux suede and this is a really pretty like chestnut brown color and together they're just so quintessential fall to me like i want to go to the pumpkin patch in this outfit or bake an apple pie or i don't know something like that so super cute and really good for layering as well like i said if you wanted to put like a cream turtleneck underneath i think that would be perfect if it's a bit colder you could also wear it like unbuttoned with pants and everything tights leggings it's a good one all right so this outfit is a little bit on the more feminine side i would say i'm trying to figure out if i can get away with a little hair tuck situation with this turtleneck i think maybe like the style of how i did my hair today with the waves is not going to really permit okay that looks kind of decent but kind of like a bowl cut um, anyways, so this outfit is a little more feminine, still very quintessential fall, and I feel super cute and festive in it. It's a little more dressed up, so maybe this is good for, you know, like Thanksgiving or, I don't know, like some cute little fireside picnic. I mean, not picnic, um, like dinner, some like cute fall dinner outside. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm envisioning. But so the turtleneck is, the turtleneck is this really nice knit material. It's super soft and comfortable. It's also quite stretchy. And then the skirt is kind of like a, the skirt is kind of like a twill. I think that's what you call this. Actually, it's not. It's more like a, it's almost like a wool feel. I don't know. It's kind of like soft and fuzzy. Also, the over-the-knee boots look really cute with this outfit. And these come in a couple of different colors, I believe. So really nice fall staple and going into winter as well. These are both so cute for our trip, our, our fall weather trip. So had to share them with you guys. And again, use my code and happy shopping. Bonjour. Yo, 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 yo. Out running some errands. We're having almond pudding. We just got this at the store, was that yesterday? Yeah. Or the day before? I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Mm hmm. We went there yesterday? Mm hmm. But we never had that before. We just saw in like a little vegan section there was pudding, and I was like, mm, it's a good snack. I kind of mm. like cold snacks. Mm hmm. Like, it's kind of hard to find good cold snacks. Pudding is kind of a good one. This is so good. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of Billy Madison. Snack pack. I don't know. Do you remember snack packs though? Just like pudding? Yeah. Yeah. He likes snack packs. <laughs> I can never, like, recall parts of movies, really. Mm. I like that movie, though. It's so good, though. Yeah. It's a treat. We need to find vegan tapioca. Mm. I used to like tapioca. Yep, but we're gonna go to the lane he wants to go to Target too. Possibly Home Goods. I'm a little sketched out by that. Why? Because it's sketchy. Why? 
It's extremely sketch. What are you talking about? Never know what you're gonna do at those places. Come home with a trunk full of stuff. But, but these are really good. Don't know the brand. Almond. Almond chocolate pudding. I feel like you say almond weird. Almond. I like to really <laughs> pronunciate the all. Almond. Almond. Almond brothers. Almond. Whoever watches Sally on Sunset, you know. Altman. Wait, what? what? Altman brothers. Altman? Yeah, the T. Mm. M A N. I always thought it was like A L M A N. Almond. That's the Almond brothers, the band. <laughs> brothers. We are on the, what is this, the shower curtain aisle? Bath goods aisle. Got some hand soap dispensers here, pretty nice. Delaney's gonna try out some new shower curtains. She doesn't like the one I picked out from Bed Bath & Beyond, I guess. It's ugly, like the pattern is ugly. It looks like a college, like, boy would have it. Hmm. And that is an accurate description of me. You're not in college anymore, it's time for you to grow up. These are the ones we currently have. Okay, those might be cuter than mine. Here's some cute There's Dutch some ovens. Cute this... Oh, look, another rolling pin. Oh, that's nice. Oh, We're good with mine, though. Hey, do you want these for the bathroom? Yeah. 24, what bath? Uh, ours. Oh. Is it too big to fit? Are these too big to fit in the other bathroom? They could probably fit in there, too. At oh. least underneath the sink. Do we like this utensil thing? No. We found some new shower curtains. But I think the ones you got are cuter. Really? Yeah. This one's kind of cute. I want to try this one. I just like want to try a few because, yeah, I like this one a little bit. All right, we got 15 options. Clayton. This is the cute section. Okay. See? It's cute. We did not need this. Okay. Currently don't have a spot for it. I like that chair though. I don't really like the copper. I know, why is that like that? I was just gonna ask you about the audience. That one's chill. It's almost like too metal-y looking though. Pretty woody. Too woody? But would that look nice? What about this one? Is this too That's like a black brick. No. Uh, Fail, fail, fail. You can do hooks like this. Yeah, I'm not that into that. Okay. Those are kind of hard to find a perfect one. Alright, where's the shelf? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember those baskets we tried at World Market the other week? Those didn't fit, so we'll go ahead and try. These ones are really cute. In the half bath, too? Yeah. I think so. Oops. They're two different sizes. Do you want that? Yeah. Oh, no. Those are the same? Yeah. This is a smaller one. Uh -huh. You need one, three or just two? What? Yeah, just two. two. Are you happy with what we've done? Very happy. Not too out of control. These are really, really cute shower curtains. You look so cute in that kind of hat. It's gonna be a major upgrade to my ugly shower curtain. Mm, but you're cute. Okay, love you. Bye. I got some more hangers. Hey, bye. I love you. Bye. Goodbye. All right, we made it into Home Goods, and they already got out the Christmas decor. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this yet? Are we ready? Are we ready for Vlogmas though? We're probably ready for Vlogmas, but we're not quite ready for that. Yeah, I don't like the blue. But if you want that, I get that. <laughs> if that was like black that could be, white, I would get it. That could be nice for my office. Literally, you want that? Yeah, it'll be my little friend. I'll go pet him. This is a pretty good mirror. I don't like the colors, It's huge though, it's nice and big. Yeah, those could be good. So we're still looking for um, I like those. We're still looking for pillows around the house. The window seat and also we still haven't figured out how to put the bed. Pillow. The bed we're still working on. Those are some good ones though. I see some over here too. Hold on, I seen some over here. I seen some. 
Check these one out, guys. Waffle print. Wait, babe, I can't like this. But why are they so stark white? These are like a... These are oh, the same yeah. ones, but like... Oh, nice. More like, Good find, Delaney. Look at you. We're gonna need a couple parts in here. Babe, can we get two of those since it's like such a big space? Yeah. Are these for a window seat? Those could be awesome. Yeah. Nice fine lip pillows. You don't want stark white though. No. Anywhere. I don't really know. Do you? I don't think so. It's really white. More Christmas stuff. They got the packing here. They got bags ready to go. Somebody celebrating Christmas a few months early? Fit this? Is that oh yeah, bag? that's nice. But it's a duvet or a comforter. Nicole Miller, is that what two of us? Yeah. It's a comforter. But so then we can't make it like super Stuffy. cool. But, but we can make the bed with two different. Like, I know, it, but it, it I like how heavy that one was. Didn't you? We didn't sleep with that one that often, did we? I liked it. So it has like a little print to it. Nicole Miller is good. I mean, I think we can make this work for sure. It's also like stark white. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Wait, That's not white. Yes, it is. No, no, no. That's way whiter. They're the same. No. Seriously? Put it next to the pillow. It's clearly cream. Look at the difference. Okay, don't you right? Okay, well, Do we can try, try it, it out. Yeah, if it doesn't work, you can return it. Oh, we need a bigger cart. Put it on the bottom, maybe? Or is it okay? That's good. Okay, let's go see um, if they have the duvet thingies that we could like. Oh, yeah. Like a duvet cover. <laughs> Hello. Hello, babe. We're home. It's a little bit late. We need to go cook dinner. So it's 8 30. We're going to do the vlog, uh, the haul later, like tomorrow. So, see you then. We got a new pan from our place that I'm very excited about. This pan is so popular and it's also very, oh my god, aesthetic and cute. And I don't know why I'm having the hardest time figuring out how to open this box. So I'm excited about this. I, I read that this pan has sold out like nine times or something. And it's supposed to be very functional. So this is what it looks like. We got this like dusty sort of like rose color. It's almost like a salmon kind of too. But I just thought it was a really cute color. Dang, look at that thing. Ta-da! All right. Yeah. The utensil we included is perfect for our non-stick coating and won't scratch it. But any soft utensil, utensils, <laughs> utensil. Utensils. Such as silicone or wood will be safe to use. Oh, right. Avoid heating up an empty pan for extended periods of time without anything in it. What do they say this is for? I think that's for steaming. It's really strong. Mm -hmm. You can steam in it, you can fry in it, you can boil. It's supposed to be like a very versatile pan. It's very popular. Okay, I just had to show you the pan, really. Pan and the boy. Yay! One more look at it on the stove. Yin Yang twins in the building. All right, starting with our little home goods Target hauls. We picked up these, or this is an old one that we had, cutting board. We picked up this one. It's a cute little size, and I really like the shape. Um, they're not going to live right there, but we just wanted something like wooden to put some texture around and about the shelf so on the hunt for more cutting boards to kind of like stack i don't know clean maybe you could put an inspo picture right here of what i'm talking about like a pinterest picture people do that on the exposed shelves and it's really cute so that cutting board that we already had used to live over here with the olive oils and the seasoning and everything and i found this little tray at home goods that has the little feet and I think that is much cuter than the cutting board. Like that looks nice. Coming together. Those are a couple of kitchen finds that we got. 
picked up these shelves to go right here on this wall in our half bath that's super small the design potential in here is very minimal so i think having those shelves and then being able to style them will bring the most decor to this little space as possible there is our little basket those look good yeah, I like them. They're like a nice bright contrast. Yeah. I wonder if we should get like two more. No, they won't work up there. Okay. Yeah. Cute. In the bedroom, here is that one comforter we picked up. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I just want to double stuff it. Instead of duvet covers are just like really cheap seating. Mm -hmm. Like I like the print and the color, but I feel that if only I could just like stuff it with more. I would fold this over again. Here, can you fix that? Well, do you want to do that on top of it or no? No. It's a little flat. It's just, it looks cheap to me. Not, not because of like the print or anything, but it's just like, it's just, I feel they're like scratchy and like, yeah. Well, the print is really nice. If it was like a really nice print, but duvet cover, we could literally just make it really full and we could stuff it with like the texture. Yeah. And like we used to have. That we like. So, if you guys remember from our last place, we had like a really thick extra comforter that was literally like really quadruple the thickness of what this one is. Um, we like the look of like the dual comforter, dual duvet but we want the second one to just be really like fluffy. thick and full and fluffy. So this one's just kind of like not cutting it. Okay, let's explore these pillows though. Okay, we picked up some pillows from TJ Maxx. Some nice. These ones that we already have over here are also from TJ Maxx um, years ago or home goods, whatever. Potato, potato. So we got this little stripe one with the fringe, love. Oh, looks nice. Ooh. Is it cute? Pillow stylist. Take them over. Really backlit. Hey, whose drawer is it? Uh oh. <laughs> Nothing to see here. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. I'm sold. Maybe we should get some smaller ones. I don't like that one. Maybe we should get some like smaller fuzzy ones to go. I need to decide what I want to do, but. And then maybe like a fuzzy smaller one to go. Yeah, those like, ones can actually... like, say maybe go over there. No, these are too big. Those I, want... Are too big. I want it to be like smaller. Okay. Because this is like the same size as all those. Like a little smaller one right there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So it looks pretty nice. Yeah. I feel like that one pillow needs to be adjusted. What do you got next? You're, you're not sold on okay? I mean, I like those, Is that but I'm, for? yeah, I don't, I think those are going to be too big though. I like those, but I'm just like open to seeing Other something options. else too, because the like jewel tones don't match anything else in this area. Yeah, I don't know. You guys got to see the look on Blaine's face. Can you do that again for him? No, I'd be, I don't even know what Can I was doing. Can you do that doing. again for him? I don't know what I was doing. Yeah, not quite it. It just doesn't look nice. Yeah, it seems too like earthy. Okay, we're gonna pass on these rugs. Sorry, rugs. Last but not least, but we're gonna do a shelf right here above. How do you feel? I think it'll be nice. Can you hold a second? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, are you okay with the wood color? Yeah. Or is it just like too random? What are you doing? Clean literally. Just make sure my <laughs> <folder> <laughs> oh my god. Should we get like a different wood that matches stuff better? It's very dark. Yeah, it's really dark. Okay. But I like the idea. I like hey, the idea. Oh, hey. How are we doing? We're doing so good. Got some drinks. Do they have almond? No. FML! No, they did not have almond. 
Here's our little Starbucks drinks. Which one's mine? This one? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch this morning. We are big day, exciting day. Big pumpkin guy. I love this day. It's one of my favorite days. Uh, Walk around the pumpkin patch watching BD pick up the little pumpkins. <laughs> you just told them my nickname. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Secret nicknames. She picks up little pumpkins, she rubs them, rubs those little pumpkins like a basketball. Peyton, you are being really weird. <laughs> rubs God, those little things like a basketball. Stop. Picks them up and puts them down until she finds the right one. Everyone is scared. I just scared. love that morning. Everyone is so scared. And this is the kind of stuff you need to leave in the vlog to troll yourself. I will. I will. I will, people. I will. I always get like a steamer at Starbucks because I don't like their chai. And if you guys don't already know, I don't drink coffee. Yeah, Delaney doesn't drink coffee. Delaney gets a, so what is it? Steamer. What is it? How would, how would you order it? What would you say? Hi, uh, I'm Delaney. Can I please order a drink? <laughs> a vanilla oat milk steam. It's just steamed milk with vanilla syrup in it. I wanted almond syrup, you know, like amaretto. That's only at a trendy place. I don't, I've never had that anywhere actually, but I want it. <laughs> Great. It would Great. taste good. And what did your stinky ass freaking <laughs> coffee drinking self? <laughs> coffee smells bad <laughs> on the breath. Oh. You stinky ass <laughs> coffee drinking. I got um, just a now. So Starbucks no, has. No, say it's stinky first. <laughs> a stinky ass. So Starbucks has. No. Hold say. on. Starbucks <laughs> has oat milk now. So I got a stinky ass. <laughs> stinky ass latte. <laughs> With oat milk. <laughs> Not that exciting, but extremely stinky. I got stinky. We're not like, you know, here's the thing with our Starbucks orders is we're not like that fancy. We go to like, Starbucks about once a year. Yeah. No, we go to Starbucks more often than that. But like people, like, you know, they're like, well, I go to Starbucks and I get the Grande coffee with one pump of skin milk and two pumps of vanilla syrup and two drizzles of cinnamon and then a little bit of cinnamon of dolce of salt. <laughs> and then you mix it all up heat it and then cool it down and that's that's my sour then I order. drink it upside down so sorry our our order is not that uh maybe they like that it's simple yeah dude it's just coffee man oh, i could have just gotten a black coffee vanilla steamer oat milk vanilla steamer and a stinky ass latte stinky ass latte but this is honestly a huge game changer now that Starbucks has oat milk. Mm. We were actually at our local coffee shop near our house the other day and they don't have it yet and I was pleading for them to get it because I think they're just behind the times. What do you guys think? If Starbucks has oat milk, shouldn't everywhere have oat milk? I think so. I think so. All right, I'm gonna go to the- See you at the patch. Go to the pumpkin patch. That didn't happen because on Sunday, was it Sunday or Saturday or something? They only do like car tours and you have to like purchase tickets in advance. So we ended up going to like a, a smaller little place. We, we uh, got our pumpkins, we took a picture and uh, it was like way chill. It wasn't like a pumpkin patch experience. So that was unfortunate, but Delaney's filming a haul right now, so you guys will probably see that video here in a couple days. And I'm down here in the kitchen. I'm uh, doing some work, emails, and also uh, cooking lunch. I wanted to show you guys, though, some new cleaning products that I've been using. They're like super, super good around the house, and they're super clean and natural. So let me let me go grab those real quick. Okay, so the brand is called Infuse, and these are both hardwood floor. This is all-purpose floor. But they just come in these refillable little cartridges so there's less plastic being used in each bottle. And now I have my mop. This is like a mop with cartridge. So you put the cartridge in there and then fill it up with water and then you have a mop. I've been using them for like a few months now and I think they're really good. The scents are super good. I use the all-purpose one on the counters and it cleans the counter super well. So this is like the little bottle it comes in. And then you see the cartridge up there, so you just pop the cartridge in there and then fill it with water. And it, it's like a refillable bottle, so you're not always buying a new bottle every single time, so a lot less plastic being wasted. I'm gonna clean the kitchen real quick, surprise Delaney when she gets down from filming because the house is a little bit of a wreck right now, I'm not gonna lie. The kitchen, 
to be exact. Got a little dishes situation here. Not looking good. But I'll clean the counters and do a quick little mopping and spruce it up a little bit. All right, the kitchen looks so much better. Smells so much better, literally. The scents of Infuse are so good. I also wanna show you guys one more fall decoration that I did with our pumpkins that we got from the pumpkin patch. We haven't carved them yet. So I went ahead and put them in our backyard with the fountain. I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think?